Hello again. Uh, welcome to Kurt's Fun Quiz. This is my fourth one. Again, all you need for this quiz is some paper, a pen or a pencil. It'll only take just over 30 minutes. All the answers will be at the end of the quiz. So uh, enjoy and good luck. So this quiz, uh, five rounds, 10 questions in each round. So a total of 50 questions. And your rounds are TV and movies, a general knowledge round, a connection round as usual. So what connects all the answers, uh, a music round, and as usual, a pictures round, 10 pictures. So your first round then is TV and movies. So uh, good luck, let's see how you get on. So question one, in which English seaside town was the 1970s sitcom Faulty Towers set? In which English seaside town was the 1970s sitcom Faulty Towers set? And question two. What is the alter ego of Scott Lang as featured in the 2015 to 2019 Marvel films? Who is the alter ego of Scott Lang as featured in the 2015 to 2019 Marvel films? Question three. Which star of TV's Friends played a news reporter in the Scream movies? Which star of TV's Friends played a news reporter in the Scream movies? Question four. Which phrase transforms Prince Adam into He-Man? Which phrase transforms Prince Adam into He-Man? Question number five. Which 1982 sword and sorcery epic gave Arnold Schwarzenegger his big break? Which 1982 sword and sorcery epic gave Arnold Schwarzenegger his big break. And question six, which Looney Tunes cartoon character was the fastest mouse in the whole of Mexico? Which Looney Tunes cartoon character was the fastest mouse in the whole of Mexico? Question seven. During which conflict was the TV show MASH set? During which conflict was the TV show MASH set? Question number eight. What is the name of Fred and Wilma Flintstone's baby daughter? So what is the name of Fred and Wilma Flintstone's baby daughter? Question number nine. In which 1986 action movie starring Tom Cruise was the famous line, I feel the need, the need for speed. In which 1986 action movie starring Tom Cruise was the famous line, I feel the need, the need for speed. And your last question in this round, question number 10. Based on the books by Robert Ludlum, what are the titles 
of the first three Jason Bourne films starring Matt Damon. It's one point for each correct answer. Based on the books by Robert Ludlum, what are the titles of the first three Jason Bourne films starring Matt Damon? And one point for each. So your second round, general knowledge, 10 questions, good luck. Question number one, which motorway links London with Cambridge? Which motorway links London with Cambridge? Question number two. Which historical conflict took place between the Houses of Lancaster and York between 1455 to 1487? Which historical conflict took place between the Houses of Lancaster and York between 1455 and 1487? Question number three. What number is represented in Roman numerals by the letter D? What number is represented in Roman numerals by the letter D? Question four. Which chess piece can only move diagonally? Which chess piece can only move diagonally? Question number five. Of which country is Aeroflot the national airline? Of which country is Aeroflot the national airline? And number six. Which English university did Prince Charles attend? And which English university did Prince Charles attend? And question number seven, which BBC radio station broadcasts Desert Island Discs? Which BBC radio station broadcasts Desert Island Discs? Question number eight, which American gangster was imprisoned for tax evasion in 1931? So which American gangster was imprisoned for tax evasion in 1931? And question number nine, traditionally, what gift is given on a first wedding anniversary? Is it lace, cotton or paper? Traditionally, what gift is given on a first wedding anniversary? Is it lace, cotton or paper? And question 10, the last question in this round. Which sign of the zodiac features a set of weighing scales?
which sign of the zodiac features a set of weighing scales. So that completes round two of the general knowledge. So round three, as normal now, is a connection round. So there are 10 questions, the 10th question being what connects all the other answers in this round. So remember, if you get an answer and then you get the connection and the answer doesn't fit with the connection, then that answer is wrong. OK, so it's got to fit with the connection. So let's see how you get on. So question number one in this round. What alcoholic spirit is produced by fermenting and distilling sugarcane molasses? So what alcoholic spirit is produced by fermenting and distilling sugarcane molasses? Question two. What alcoholic drink is made from fermented grape juice? What alcoholic drink is made from fermented grape juice? Question number three. What word connects Hatton, Brent and Charing on the London Underground Network. What word connects Hatton, Brent and Charing on the London Underground Network? Question number four. What is the product of a number multiplied by itself? What is the product of a number multiplied by itself? Have you got the connection yet? Question five. What term describes the state of being watchful for, pos for possible danger, vigilant and attentive? What term describes the state of being watchful for possible danger, vigilant and attentive? Just one word. And question six. What term describes a person who is of unusually or abnormally small stature because of a congenital condition? What term describes a person who is of unusually or abnormally small stature because of a congenital condition? Hopefully you've got the connection by now. Question seven. What word describes a strip of narrow, flexible material with magnetic properties which was used for recording sound, pictures or computer data? And what word describes a strip of narrow, flexible material with magnetic properties which was used for recording sound, pictures or computer data? Question number eight. Which English city boasts the biggest crisp production plant in the world and is home to De Montfort University and a premiership winning football team? Which English city boasts the biggest crisp production plant in the world and is home to De Montfort University and a premiership winning football team? So this is your last question to get the connection. It's question nine. A kipper is produced from what type of fish? A 
uh, kipper is produced from what type of fish? And then question 10 in this round, quite simply, what connects all the answers to questions one to nine? Remember, if something doesn't fit the connection that you think you've got, then you need to look at another answer. So now we're going to round four and uh, this quiz, there's a music round, 10 questions. Here we go. Question one. Which American rock band had a UK number one hit in 1982 with Eye of the Tiger? And which American rock band had a UK number one hit in 1982 with Eye of the Tiger? Question number two. Which Elvis had a number two hit in 1979 with Oliver's Army. Which Elvis had a number two hit in 1979 with Oliver's Army? Question number three. Paul McCartney and Wings wrote and performed music for which 1973 James Bond movie? Paul McCartney and Wings wrote and performed music for which 1973 James Bond movie? Question number four. Which band had hits with Roxanne and Walking on the Moon in the 70s? Which band had hits with Roxanne and Walking on the Moon in the 70s? Question five. Which member of Electric Light Orchestra left that band to form Wizard in July 1972? Which member of Electric Light Orchestra left that band to form Wizard in July of 1972. And question number six. Which Welshman had a Christmas number one with Merry Christmas Everyone in 1985? Which Welshman had a Christmas number one with Merry Christmas Everyone in 1985? Question seven. Which band formed in 1967 by brothers Ron and Russell Mayle has released over 25 albums and 49 singles, but has never reached number one? So which band formed in 1967 by brothers Ron and Russell Mayle has released over 25 albums and 49 singles, but has never reached number one? And question number eight. In 1981, Endless Love spent nine weeks at number one. It was a duet sung by Lionel Richie and which female artist? In 1981, Endless Love spent nine weeks at number one. It was a duet sung by Lionel Richie and which female artist? Question nine. Annie Lennox is the most famous of the Eurythmics duo. Who was the other member? Now, Annie Lennox is the most famous of the Eurythmics duo. Who was the other member? And your final question in this round, question number 10. 
Which band recorded the theme song to the TV series Friends? Which band recorded the theme song to the TV series Friends? And your final round, as usual, is a pictures round, 10 random pictures. So let's see how you get on with these. Question number one, what is the name of this fruit? What is the name of this fruit? Question two, what Mediterranean island is this? Taken from Google Earth. What Mediterranean island is this? And question number three, can you name the TV character? Can you name the TV character? And question number four, what is the name of this person? Or what is the name of this person? And question five, what is this game called? If you've ever played it. What is this game called? And question six, can you name the movie from this picture? Can you name the movie from this picture? And question number seven, what company is this the logo for? What company is this the logo for? Question number eight, what does this road sign mean? What does this road sign mean? And question number nine, what is the name of these sweets? What is the name of these sweets? And your final question in this round and in the quiz, question number 10. What animal is this? So what animal is this? So there you go, that was your 50 questions. Hopefully you did quite well. So now we'll go through the answers, see how you got on. So your round one was TV and movies round. Here are the answers for that. Question number one, in which English seaside town was the 1970s sitcom Faulty Towers set? It was set in Torquay. Question two, who is the alter ego of Scott Lang as featured in the 2015 to 2019 Marvel films? 
he is Ant-Man. Question three. Which star of TV's Friends played a news reporter in the screen movies? And that was Courtney Cox. Question four. What phrase transforms Prince Adam into He-Man? Uh, the phrase was by the power of Greyskull. Question five. Which 1982 sword and sorcery epic gave Arnold Schwarzenegger his big break? And that was Conan the Barbarian. Question six. Which Looney Tunes cartoon character was the fastest mouse in the whole of Mexico? And that was Speedy Gonzales. Question seven. During which conflict was the TV show MASH set? It was set during the Korean War. And question eight. What is the name of Fred and Wilma Flintstone's baby daughter? Well, she was called Pebbles. Uh, question nine. In which 1986 action movie starring Tom Cruise was the famous line, I feel the need, the need for speed. And that was from Top Gun. And the last question, question 10, were three points based on the books by Robert Ludlum. What are the titles of the first three Jason Bourne films that starred Matt Damon? And they were The Bourne Identity, The Bourne Supremacy, and the Bourne Ultimatum. So one point for each correct answer. That completes your TV movies round. So round two was general knowledge. And here are your answers. Question one, which motorway links London with Cambridge? That is the M11. Question two, which historical conflict took place between the houses of Lancaster and York between 1455 and 1487? And that was the War of the Roses, White Rose and the Red Rose. Question three, what number is represented in Roman numerals by the letter D? And that number is 500. Question four, which chess piece can only move diagonally? That is the bishop. Question five. Of which country is Aeroflot the national airline? And the country is Russia. And question six. Which English university did Prince Charles attend? He attended Cambridge. Question seven, which BBC radio station broadcasts Desert Island Discs? It's BBC Radio 4. And question eight, which American gangster was imprisoned for tax evasion in 1931? It was Al Capone. That's all they could get him on. Question nine, traditionally what gift is given on a first wedding anniversary? Was it lace, cotton or paper? And it's paper. And your final question, question 10. Which sign of zodiac features a set of weighing scales? And that is Libra. So that completes your general knowledge round. So your next round was the connection. Let's see how you got on here. Here's your answers. Question one. What alcoholic spirit is produced by fermenting and distilling sugarcane molasses? Uh, it's rum. That's how rum is produced. Question two. What alcoholic drink is made from fermented grape juice? That is wine. Question three. What word connects Hatton, Brent and Charing on the London Underground Network? That is cross. Hat Cross, Brent Cross and Charing Cross. Question four. What is the product of a number multiplied by itself? That's the square. And question five. 
what term describes the state of being watchful for possible danger, vigilant and attentive. And that word is alert. Question six, what term describes a person who is of unusually or abnormally small stature because of a congenital condition? That is a dwarf. Number seven, what word describes a strip of narrow, flexible material with magnetic properties, which was used for recording sound, pictures or computer data? And that was tape. Question number eight, which English city boasts the biggest crisp production plant in the world and is home to De Montfort University and a premiership winning football team? And that is Leicester. Question nine, a kipper is produced from what type of fish? It's produced from a herring. Uh, so question 10 then, what connects the answers to questions one to nine? That all those words can be preceded by red. Uh, red rum, red wine, red herring, etc. So I hope you've got the connection. So round four is music and here are your answers. Question one, which American rock band had a UK number one hit in 1982 with Eye of the Tiger? It was Survivor and that was a uh, title song to one of the Rocky movies. Question two, which Elvis had a number two hit in 1979 with Oliver's Army and it was Elvis Costello? Question three, Paul McCartney and Wings wrote and performed music for which 1973 James Bond movie and the movie was Live and Let Die. Question four, which band had hits with Roxanne and Walking on the Moon in the 70s and that band was The Police. Question five, which member of Electric Light Orchestra left that band to form Wizard? In July 1972, it was Roy Wood. And question six, which Welshman had a Christmas number one with Merry Christmas Everyone in 1985? It was Shakin Stevens. And number seven, which band formed in 1967 by brothers Ron and Russell Mayall has released over 70, uh, sorry, 25 albums and 49 singles but it's never reached number one and they were known as Sparks and they're still going. And number eight, in 1981, Endless Love spent nine weeks at number one. It was a duet sung by Lionel Richie and which female artist? She was Diana Ross. And question nine, Annie Lennox is the most famous of the Eurythmics duo. Who was the other member? Well, the other member was Dave Stewart. Last question in this round, which band recorded the theme song to the TV series Friends? And that band was the Rembrandts. So that completes your music round. So your final round then is your picture round. And here we go with the answers. Question one, what is the name of this fruit? It is an avocado. Question two, what Mediterranean island is this? It's the island of Cyprus. It's off the coast of Greece. Question three, can you name the TV character here? It is Inspector Gadget. Question four, what is the name of this person? It is Meghan Markle. Question five, what is this game called? It's called Guess Who? Number six, can you name the movie from this picture? It is I Am Legend, starring Will Smith, as you can see there. Question seven, what company is this the logo for? It is HSBC, the bank. Question number eight, what does this road sign mean? 
it means end of motorway and uh, question number nine what is the name of these sweets well they are pear drops and finally the last question in this round animal quiz question 10 what animal is this and it is a lemur so there you go so that's the quiz thank you for taking part again if you enjoyed the quiz i have other quizzes on youtube please try them if you enjoyed the quiz please share them let other people uh, enjoy them and if you have any feedback at all please let me know so uh, until i see you again on one of my other quizzes take care and bye bye for now